What's up guys, it's MD Shady and in today's video we're going to be taking a trip over to New York City to do some pop hunting. We're going to hit the Nintendo shop most likely and definitely FAO shorts to probably get that Toy Soldier exclusive pop. Really hoping to get that. But anyways, we might as well get right to New York City and see what we can get. So let's check it out. So just like that, we are now in New York City and we're just walking around. It's pretty early in the morning, so not too much is open right now. So we're gonna go get breakfast and then we're gonna find some spots where we might be able to find some Funko Pops. I do see a Toys R Us right over there, so maybe they'll have some cool stuff. So we are at a little gift shop and I am seeing some pops here for the first time in New York. So we have Hermione, Wonder Woman, Robin, we have the Specialty Series Gore, and then we have a couple of the Superman comic book covers. That's pretty cool. I do own that pop though. And then over here it looks like we have a bigger section where we do have some of those DC Imperial pops. The Joker's pretty sweet. We have some Pokemon pops there with Pikachu, Charmander. Uh, some random stuff throughout here. The Gingerbread Aquaman. We got some Demon Slayer. We got Eagly. That's pretty cool to see. The Glow in the Dark Super Hercule. That's pretty sweet. And then we got the Rock up here. Anthony Davis. Don't really see that pop too often. So that's pretty cool to see as well. Uh, behind here it looks like we do have Rachel Green. That's pretty neat. Down here we do have the newer Apollo Creed. And then we have Aaron Hannon there from The Office. Maybe DK needs that for a set, but I doubt it. And then on the other side we do have more pops. It looks like we got some Naruto. We got Leonardo. We got Dee Dee back there, which is a recent pickup that I got. We got some My Hero Academia, more Naruto. We do have Chandler Bing there. Rest in peace to Matthew Perry, of course. And down here we have a bunch more different Naruto Pops. We got Morpheus from Matrix, another Hermione over there, the specialty series Dwight Schrute down there, and a couple more of the Rock. So now we're in Five Below and they do have the Pops for $5.95. So now we're in It's Sugar and right away I'm seeing the Nerds It's Sugar exclusive scented Pops. You know I'm picking these up today. So one thing I'm noticing over here is the huge Huckleberry Hound Funko Pop here. So I wonder if this came from one of the Funko stores, Funko Hollywood or something like that. But this is amazing. So now we're inside of a Toys R Us and there is a pop display here and they are 25% off. We do have some of the Marvel gingerbread. It looks like we have the C-3PO Snowman one. So it looks like it is just some random stuff. We do have the Hades on Throne down here, as well as the Tinkerbell and Lantern. So those are pretty cool. I don't know if I've actually seen those in person or not. And then over here, we do have more of the Gingerbread Pops. We got the Holiday Iron Man there, the Gingerbread Mickey, as well as Minnie. We got Hermie there, which I do own. We have that Wolverine with the Bah Humbug sign. That's really cool to see. It looks like we do have a couple different Dragon Ball Z things. And then we do have the Advent Calendars at the bottom. And there is a Stinky Pete here, but we did get this at our local GameStop. And then at this part of the Macy slash Toys R Us, we do have this really cool Lego display of the building outside, of course, the Macy's logo there. And then you look down here, we do have Santa Claus and his reindeer. And then up here, it looks like we do have a dragon of some sort. And of course, the crowd in the background watching the parade. There are some of the toy soldiers. There is the infamous Christmas tree. That's really cool. Looks like we have the Toys R Us float right here. And then over here, it looks like we do have a Thanksgiving float for the American Thanksgiving. That's pretty cool. And then of course, there is the crowd back there. Again, really, really cool. This is a great display. And we're probably not gonna actually go see the actual Statue of Liberty today, but at the front of the Toys R Us, we do have this really cool display of the Statue of Liberty minifigure, but made out of actual Lego. So that's great to see out here.
York City. Let's talk about the experience and we'll go through all the different items that I picked up while on my trip. So basically me and my mom both went over to New York City. I've never been to New York City before so it was a great time. She found a bus trip which was very cheap so that was really cool. We basically left on the Friday night, got to New York City the Saturday morning and stayed there till about 10 p.m. and then came back home. So we weren't there very long. We were there for about 14 hours but we tried to pack as much stuff as we could into it with not really knowing like exactly what we were going to be doing but we checked out some really cool stores and we picked up a couple cool items I definitely didn't spend too much money but I'm kind of okay with that because who wants to really pay those duty fees and maybe get dinged on some items that you're not necessarily wanting to overpay for so let's talk about some of those stores that I went to if you guys seen from the video so we checked out a Target while we were in New York City that was very interesting it was a lot different than any Target I've ever seen it was very small it seemed like nothing was really where it was supposed to be like the aisles were kind of weird like there was like an aisle where it was like some action figures and stuff but then there was also like shampoo or something like also in that aisle and then every aisle was kind of like that and it was very very small but it was also very interesting and a lot different of course we went to it's sugar that was a great time heard about it's sugar before of course having exclusive pop so i knew i wanted to get there we got there early before it was even open so we had to go walk around and do some other things and we came back we were the first people in the store which is great they had a lot of really cool stuff i could have spent a ton of money in there because there was some sweet stuff there was an oreo sweater that i really debated on getting but i did buy a few items from there but we'll save that for the end of this video there was was the Huckleberry Hound Pop there, like the huge one. That's awesome. I wonder if that is from like the Funko Shop or like Funko Hollywood. I don't really know, but I feel like they must have got it directly from Funko because it's a weird niche product like that. It's not even a product. It's just like a display piece, but it was really cool to see. And I did actually get a photo with that. So that was interesting to see. They also had some cool stuff like a Tony the Tiger and a Toucan Sam and some really sweet stuff like that, Mr. Owl. That was really awesome. There was a lot of really cool products there. I I can't wait to go back to New York City one day because I will definitely spend a lot more money at it's sugar. Then of course we were walking through Times Square which was so cool. The lights were awesome. We were there very early morning so we were kind of confused about it but I knew it would be a lot better come nighttime and that it was. It looked awesome in there. So overall I had a really great time in New York City though we were only there for about 14 hours. I definitely want to go back. It was packed. Maybe not around Christmas time uh, the next time I go because there were so many people. I couldn't even get into FAO Shores which was a disappointment. I wanted to see if I could find that toy soldier pop and show it off for you guys but unfortunately the lineup was insane to get in there so we just said you know what we're not gonna waste our day standing in line for FAO Shores let's go somewhere else so we ended up going to the Nintendo shop which is right around the corner that's really cool didn't make it into the M&M store or the Lego store which was a little bit of a disappointment but the Nintendo shop was cool you guys probably seen the clips of that there's such cool stuff in there like the old video games how they have them in the shelf and a lot of really cool products I really like the New York specified products there was like a Pikachu plush that was like dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. Then of course they have like the Nintendo logo that says New York like on t-shirts and sweaters and stuff like that. So those are really the cool products there but the rest of the stuff there was really just normal stuff you could find at your local GameStop. We also seen some really cool artwork on the streets like people selling their own art which was awesome. And of course there was a lot of very interesting people in New York City. There was people dressed up as the Grinch. There was people dressed up as Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Spider-Man. There was a ton of different people in costumes. It seemed like they were all kind of together walking around in Times Square. I uh, didn't really get a photo or anything with those people, but it was definitely very interesting. Another place we went was Bubba Gump Shrimp. That was awesome. The food wasn't so great, but 
We walked in there and we saw all this really cool merchandise from Forrest Gump, of course. So I was very drawn in by that and there was a lot of stuff that I wanted to buy. I actually didn't end up necessarily buying anything there, but we did get some stuff from there. But anyways, let's stop talking about my experience there and start getting into what I actually purchased because it wasn't really a lot, but I did find some cool stuff. So that's definitely awesome. And the first item is this shot glass where of course it says, does a bear really sh in the woods? And then it says Canada there. And if you guys can see there is like a little statue slash figure in there of a bear reading a book while sitting on the toilet. So I thought this was hilarious. I had to buy this because that is definitely a quote that I say all the time. Yeah, those are going to focus nicely. So I was really glad to find these. And this is the one that we were more specifically looking for. And that is the D's nuts one. I'm going to assume, yeah, this is a peanut butter one. And this is hilarious. Of course, I use that phrase a bunch as well. The pink or yeah, strawberry scented nerd, which is an It's Sugar exclusive. This is so awesome. I'm so happy to finally add the nerds into my collection for the ad icons. And one thing that I did notice with these pops is that when you pop the back open, there's no actual quote, but you do see the strawberry and the, I believe the grape nerd right there. So that's awesome. And do you guys know what the last item is? I think you do. It is the grape nerd. This is awesome. Very excited to get this one into the collection as well. Uh, I can't remember if there are any other nerds in the Funko Pop Ad Icons lineup. I can't remember if this is great. Super excited to at least pick up two pops on the trip. 